Hey everybody, we're here with Trainer Tuesdays. Yes. I'm Michelle with Hilarious Hound, your go-to Bay Area photography. And I'm Christina with No Problem Dog Training, your local Bay Area trainer. Yes, <laughs> and today we are talking about walking etiquette. And what we mean by that is things to do and don't when you're out on a walk with your dog so that you can be a responsible dog owner. Right. Makes everybody happy. That's yeah. a win-win all around. <laughs> Perfect. So we got some awesome questions submitted yeah, on like some this. walking etiquette for this week. So we're going to go over that. But before we do that, um, there's some quick do's and don'ts that Christina and I want to touch base on. Yeah. So some simple things to remember as a pet owner, what to do when you're on a walk. Um, so to start, this one's a big one, and it's the big. most simple one out there. But Super important. do always pick up your dog's poo every time. <laughs> every, every time. It may not be the law, but it's the proper and appropriate thing to do yeah. as a dog owner. Um, you don't want to be that one dog owner in the block that uh, ruins it for all the other dog owners out there. Um, you also don't want to start somebody's day off on the bad foot because they stepped in the dog poo. In there. And it's up. It's not very fun. <laughs> so we have all found ourselves in the position where your dog does number two, and you may not have been prepared for it with a doggy bag. So some things you can do if it's in your neighborhood, you know, you can always come back to it. Coming yeah. back to it is better than leaving it there overnight for somebody else to step in or some right. other dog to eat. Totally. I've gotten creative because, again, we've all been there where we thought that <laughs> we had that extra there. bag. And we don't. So um, I've used leads. Um, if there's a paper bag on the floor, I've used right. that. If someone's walking with their dog near you, you can also uh, ask yes. them if you can borrow one. And, yes. and they'll be, no one has ever said no because everyone has been in the same position. Right, right. So super important, always pick up your dog poo. Yes. Yeah. And then we don't, another bullet point is we don't want um, you to allow your dog to run throughout somebody else's garden. Uh, the front lawn, we don't want it. Nobody, it's, first of all, it's their private property, so right. you shouldn't really be doing it. The dog shouldn't be there. But also, sometimes they're plants, and in those plants are not something that's good for your dog. I mean, I know around here, there's foxtails. Everywhere. They're, look, they're lurking in places. Everywhere. You don't even realize. Your dog could, like, just sn sniff something and inhale it, and then... And then you're rushing to the vet for yeah. a couple hundred dollars. If you're paid, <laughs> yeah. Um, so just be considerate. Right. Yeah. Uh, so our next one is do resist meet and greets with other dogs yeah. when you're on your walk. And we aren't saying that you can't let your dog say hello to another dog, but it's important as the dog owner for you to remain in control of your dog in the situation. So to do this, one thing to do is to just, it's on you yeah. for when you want your dog to say hello to another human or dog. Absolutely. Not letting your dog say hello every single time they want to say hello. Right. Um, just some basic good training things to let your dog know that you're in control. You're in control of that leash. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's another, similar to that, we don't want you to walk up to dogs without asking them first. Um, some dogs are friendly and some dogs aren't. Right. Um, and they might be friendly to certain people or certain dogs and not others, you never know. Um, and a wagon tail does not always mean uh, <laughs> that they are that they are friendly. friendly. So always, always ask. Right. So yeah, important. Remember, ask before you pet. Um, so our next do is always walk your dog on leash. Yeah, it's important. It's it's also the law to keep your dog on leash. Um, so unless you're in a designated area where it's off leash uh, walking, please keep your dog on leash. It keeps you in control of your pet to avoid yeah. any instance that may happen. And we're going to touch base about that in one of our awesome submitted questions yes, later. Yes, Super important stuff. Um, also, you want to be able to, you want to share the sidewalk, um, yes. especially if you're in like in a city, San Francisco, even Oakland. You really want to make sure that you're not taking up the entire sidewalk with your dog. Nobody, nobody likes that. No. <laughs> they want to walk around you and they can't because you're taking up and they don't know. Right. Um, so just try your best. And I know we touched upon this uh, last time when we talked about different walking equipment to help you be successful. You want to keep your dog like right um, by your side. Right. 
Yeah, short leash. So those are some quick do's and don'ts to remember when you're out on a walk with your leash mm -hmm. as general pet owners. Um, everybody's going to appreciate when you keep these things in mind. Other dog owners, people who don't own dogs who have that little... I think especially the ones, the ones who don't yeah. have dogs. Yes. Um, so again, some quick, old, quick, simple do's and don'ts to remember. Um, but now we got some awesome questions like we mentioned. Yeah. So we're going to go over those and go in a little bit more details on some of the do's and don't things that we talked about. Um, so our first question is, where should my dog walk? She likes to roam and do zigzags in front of me or walk ahead of me. How can I have a better walking experience? Very common. Um, sort of what we just talked about, where we want to have our dogs in, in ideally in a little in the side <laughs> zone. For training to talk, it's heel position, but I like to call it just like a little box that we want on our side, and that's right. where we want our dog to be. Um, again, easier said than done. That's why we have these walking equipment to help us out, and there's also different training techniques that we can. It's for another day. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we do want to keep your dog as near our side as possible. Right, and the best way you can do that is to have a shorter leash, right? right? So to restrict having those long, um, oh, the retractable, the retractable <laughs> leashes that you can't control. Um, they also make these awesome leashes now that have like a double loop on them, and the yeah. one loop is super close so that you can keep your dog nice and close yeah, to you. much easier to handle, and right. um, like I said, I wouldn't go more than four to six feet most at length if you're walking your dog on a sidewalk. If you're in a big, hilly out area, you know, that's a whole other thing. Right. But when you're on a sidewalk, when you're sharing it with other people, you want to be, you want to keep it short. Awesome. So our next question is, what should I do when a child or a dog wants to say hello to my dog? This is a great question. It's a really good question because it happens all the time. Um, right. And it's always generally good intention. People want to say hello to dogs. Your dog's cute, right? You're, you've got the cutest dog in the world. Uh, so Which is always every super owner. curious to children. <laughs> right. So you want to do, but it's important, again, safety is the most important thing here. So we're going to, right. if a child's running up to you, you want to tell them to stop. <laughs> you might feel like a mean person. You might feel silly, but it's more important that the child stops and we have an appropriate greeting. Right. Um, so you can show the child how to appropriately say hello to your dog. And then that's only if your dog wants to. If your dog doesn't want to, if he's not into kids, they do, or adults for that matter, they don't have to say hello. You can be the mean right. person. I said, oh, my dog is sick. You know, you can make up any excuses, whatever <laughs> you want to do. But it's more important, again, to keep your dog safe. Right. If a dog is running up to your dog, um, I feel you if they're on leash, again, <laughs> you're going to tell them to stop. Uh, because not every dog, most dogs, in fact, don't like when a dog is running up to them and they're on leash. Right. Um, if the dog does say hi, say, tell them stop. <laughs> if your dog is friendly and wants to say hello to that other dog, um, then keep the greeting really short. I mean, for like three seconds. Um, that's going to keep them from getting super wound up. It's going to keep it short and sweet. Again, safety, safety, safety. Right. And everyone ends on a good note. You're not and it avoids the leash tangle and the oh, dosey dough that we always do each other. Oh. <laughs> oh, and yeah, keeping it short, even if your dog is super friendly, it's always going to leave that dog on a positive note because right. nothing bad happened. No barking yeah. started happening or... You're not causing no. a scene in the whole yeah. sidewalk. <laughs> it's a win -win. <laughs> All right. And our next question, let me pull it up here is my dog is a really good listener and is super well-behaved and mm -hmm. super friendly. Right. Do I always have to walk him on leash? Uh, this is such a good question. Um, the answer is, unless you're in a designated off-leash area, your dog has to be on a leash. Um, first of all, it's the law. Speaking of, my dog is trying right? to get my oh. attention right now. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, so they have to be, it doesn't matter how well trained they are, how friendly they are, none of that matters. Because <laughs> um, there are people who are walking with or without their dogs who may not want a dog who, to run up to them or say hello, or they might be scared of a dog even if it's out in the distance. If it's right. off leash, it's way scarier because they don't know if the dog is even being controlled by the owner. Right. Um, also, a lot of dogs do not like <laughs> when a dog runs up. No. Hate it. Freaks out my little girl. Totally. Even For like sure. dogs who like other dogs don't like it. 
Um, and a lot especially of, when they're bigger dogs. Especially when they're bigger. It's like, oh my gosh, it's so like running. To, and She's then like, whoa, you hear, hold on there, buddy. Right, it doesn't matter. If someone's yelling. They're friendly. No, doesn't no, matter to the dog. Doesn't matter. You never know who is or gonna, isn't going to be friendly in the situation or how any dog is going to handle anything. Right. So no matter where you are, unless it's designated off leash, yeah. it's important for everybody's safety to be on leash. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so our final question here, and this is also a really good one that you're probably going to love. Okay. Um, so when should I seek a trainer to help with my dog's on-leash behavior? Ah, I do love this question. Yeah. I really do. Because um, ideally, I would tell you to do it as soon as you bring your dog home to your house. Whether it's a right. puppy or an older dog, you want to talk with a trainer really right away because they're going to – they know things that you just don't know. You they, know things? I do. I do. I've studied for a long time. Did lots of dogs. Um, so I'm going to be able to pick up on behaviors or different things that your dog is doing that you might not even realize are signs of, you know, fear or they're nervous or maybe right. they're just like super excited. Maybe it's not really aggression. Maybe they're just super excited and mouthy. Um, so for when you're, especially with leashes, everybody struggles with leash walking. You're not alone. I mean, I don't know anybody who's, who has an easy time with it. But there's, <laughs> there's no such thing as a perfect dog from the start that knows how to walk on leash. No, it's pulling, or they want to chase squirrels, or squirrel, whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> we all know those dogs. Those poor dogs. Um, so I would get it with a trainer as soon as possible, because they're also they're going to set you up for success, and they're also going to help you if there is an issue that's already happening. They're going to be able to nip it in the bud and address it before it escalates into something that might become unmanageable or dangerous. Excellent. And there's yeah. also something to um, dog's body language, too, that um, a lot of the trainers can help you learn and understand. Um, right. the, your dog gives off so many signals when they're going through their walk. Tiny, tiny, tiny ones. Tiniest little turn in their tail yeah. will tell another dog that they are not sure what's going on in the situation. Right. Um, and so learning those body language signals can be super helpful for you yeah. to understand and predict the situation. Right. And then you're going to be able to be um, more in control. You're gonna because you're gonna know exactly what's going on, and then you're gonna be able to be your dog's advocate, which is really your right. job when you're outside and inside, but especially when you're outside. <laughs> right. Well, that was our final question. Um, we loved those questions. Thank you guys. So Super please, awesome. if you have any other training questions, please submit those questions to us so we can yeah. answer them. Um, again, we are gonna be here every. First and third yeah. Tuesday of every month. I know what you're thinking. Today is not the first Tuesday of the month, but right. last week was the Fourth of July, guys. so we had to postpone a week. Yeah, we were dealing with our dogs and fireworks last yeah. week. <laughs> you guys were all having too much fun without us, so right. we were like, "Yeah, eh, we'll switch it. To we'll push it." Yeah. Uh, so again, Trainer Tuesdays will be live on the Hilarious Sound Facebook page every first and third Tuesday of every month. So. Next week is the third Tuesday, and we'll be back again right. dishing out some more tips on training advice. Yeah. But you'll have to tune in to see what we're chatting about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It'll be so fun. Yep. Again, Michelle with Hilarious Hound. And Christina with No Problem Dog Training. And we'll see you guys next Tuesday at noon. Bye.